They are the biggest demonstrations in Algeria in decades. This is the country's capital, Algiers. They're demanding the country's ailing president, Abdulaziz Bouteflika, withdraws from the country's forthcoming presidential election. The student-led protests have been growing in recent days, ever since the 81-year-old leader issued a statement announcing his intention to run for a fifth term. Algerian journalists have also joined the growing demonstrations, calling for greater press freedom and political reform. Bouteflika was elected president in 1999, but after suffering a debilitating stroke six years ago, he's rarely seen in public and hasn't given a speech in years. Here he is in 2017, too frail to cast his ballot without help. Demonstrators say he's too weak to lead. It's widely believed the country's really run by a group of military and civilian elites who failed to find a successor to ensure the continuity of the country's leading party, the National Liberation Front. The parties repeatedly said the elections would be free and transparent. Bouteflika presided over the end of the bloody Algerian war in 2002 and a return to international affairs following decades of isolation. But demonstrators say it's time for Algeria's longest serving head of state to retire from politics. Neve Barker, Al Jazeera.